Hello and welcome back to Against the Storm. We are continuing our cycle here and uh, they did release a new patch. The new patch has some new features. Uh, one of the features is a game history. So you can look at the history of everything you've done in your in your past game. So I've 175, I've lost one. And then uh, I think that was when I was messing around at the very beginning. And then all the different uh, summaries of all the Citadel upgrades that you have are all listed there. So that's kind of cool. And then uh, there's also some other settings like auto pause when the um, when a trader is leaving. Uh, so you don't lose out on the opportunity. Stuff like that. So uh, where do I go next? Because there's only time for one more. So it doesn't really matter where I go. Um... Well, I don't think I've done a frost modifier yet, so be good to do that. That's going to be interesting. I, I think I'm going to have to build another another hearth. Do I want to embark there? Or do I want to embark here? Is this what it's going to give me no matter where I embark? All right, well, we're going here. And then I think we're going to go with... Uh, I think we're going to go with the foxes. Don't know why. Just... Decided that's what I want to go with. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's take a look at our forest mysteries. Uh, don't pop glades during a storm. Make sure you have services. And uh, don't get to hostility 7 because <laughs> it just starts killing people. That's cool. All right, so different trees provide different bonuses. Uh, 3% chance of bonus yields minus three radius. So, oh yeah, that's a lot tighter. That's interesting. And the downside is, uh, there's also, um, land like right, <laughs> right at the very entrance here. So we're kind of, uh, in a little bit of a rough spot. Okay. What's going on here? All right. Put this down. All right. We're not going to be able to fully draw our grid yet, but. We can at least get started. Let's get our first buildings. Uh, I feel like I got to go with the provisioner workshop. What's on this map? No mushrooms, no berries. I guess we'll take the greenhouse in case we need that to grow stuff. And we might as well get started with the small farm right away. Plop down our woodcutters camps. I think we're going to go. Ah, uh, that's a danger glade. Well, I kind of feel like we got to trim out, at least trim out a little bit here so I could build the uh, the farm. And then I could chop in this direction. We'll come over here. All right, now the question is, what is our third species? Right, I am going to have to build these here because it's such a tight radius. I'm not really going to have a lot of room. I kind of have to leave this side open for housing too. I'm definitely going to have to build another hearth. There's no way I'm getting around that given the... Uh, the effect of that uh yeah just no way uh they had a new button here uh you could click that to unassign all woodcutters uh instantly so that's kind of nice instead of having to click through each each one all right let's go ahead and unpause get the ball rolling all right we're gonna have to put foxes in here for now i really got to get better about using the hotkeys i'm doing that <laughs> forgiving crown one free cornerstone reroll for any every rep point gain during drizzle. Interesting. Oh, you get amber when you decline. Kind of nice. I think I'm going to take flame amulets just to keep that hostility down. That seems to be a kind of a big deal this this game. So get hostility seven. We are toast. All right, we can move over here now. Let's see what our cornerstones are. Discover a glade. Yes, that's easy. Get above 13 resolve. I will. That will happen at some point. All right. And two glades and salvage a building. Seems like a no brainer. All right. Let's go ahead and pop some people in there. Try getting that planting off the ground right away. All right. We have housing coming online. It's not it's not a uh, species specific housing, but it is housing. So that'll help make them happier at least for a little bit all right we popped into our first little glade there's some fertile soil in there so 
Looks like we're going to be getting another farm up and running. Also some um, moss broccoli. We should get this one cleared out first because it's taking up space in our very limited hearth radius. And then come over here and take this out. We also have some coal. Let's get at least one person in there. Although I probably should worry about bricks and, and that stuff. I kind of want to clear this out down here. I need to leave as much room as possible for building. I hate to do it, but let's come down here and clear this out. Oh, you know what? I never built the dang trading post. Let's put that down. We can move it. We can move it later. All right, I can't can't place down here yet. Okay, now I can. Looks like there's all sorts of goodies coming out of these trees. I have to be careful not to tap into a glade right now because I uh, get a significant resolve hit if I do it during the storm. Actually, let's uh, let's come back down here. I don't want to accidentally tap into that. Can we squeeze over here? Okay, let's go ahead and move back up here. We can tap into this stuff now. We need more people before we can actually do anything. And it looks like lizards are our other people. But we're going to take humans because I need them for the farms. Okay, let's take a gander at this first. Um, no, no, I don't like that at all. This could be good. I'll pick that. It's not the worst. It's not great, but it's not the worst. I'd save my rerolls for something better. All right, let's get, before I do anything else, let's get this, um... Get this workshop down, and then we also need to get the provisioner. Well, the provisioner can wait a little bit, but definitely need that workshop down. All right, let's see what he's got to trade. I don't have a lot of money. I can't really afford anything anyway. Yeah, I really just don't have the resources at this point. So we're just going to have to skip him for now. Sorry, Farloof. All right, let's take a quick look here at what we got. It's some stones, some... Or broccoli, a steampunk drill that we can, a rain punk drill that we can uh, convert into coal, but we already have that. Oh, by the way, uh, there's a new setting that automatically pauses your game when a uh, trader's about to leave. So I turned that on just to test it out. Oh, that's those copper veins. Interesting. Okay, I still feel like we don't have enough to really do anything with here. We got to trim this out so that we can put a farm. I want to get one more glade because that will complete that order. Yeah, I knew there'd be a timed order there. I don't have any of, I don't have any oil, so I can't get that. Be nice. I don't know if I'll get 20 oil. What are the odds I'm going to be able to get 20 oil? I have the coal, but I don't have the oil. Let's go ahead and take a gamble on it. That's not going to happen in five minutes. There's no way. So we're going to have to go with this. Let's get some human housing up and running. All right. Human housing up. Oh, there's a tree in the way. Guess we're going to be waiting a little bit longer. Oh, a new obelisk. There we go. Now, if I turn this in, it doesn't get me all the way there. Oh, it did. Should have waited because that would have given me a reroll if I did it during the drizzle, I think. We haven't tapped in any big glades. I think the herb garden would be good. It's because I already have... Well, I don't know. I guess I could have made another choice there, but that's all right. Let's get this chopped out. Okay. What are the odds I can get a herb garden placed there? Not yet. Still need that trimmed out. Hey, we got some human houses up. I guess let's put some people in here and get this trimmed out. Or get, get some production starting on this. Uh, let's cap these at 50 each. Of course, that's the last section to get knocked down. Oh, it looks like I can build it anyway. Okay, so this decreases hostility. But I don't have any of these resources. Can I just wait? Is there a penalty for not doing it right away? I don't think so. I guess we'll just wait for now. All right, you come over here. We got to keep chopping over in this area. What are the odds we're going to be able to do this? Uh, maybe if he has oil, I could sacrifice the coal during the storm. Right, let's just do that. Lower the hostility. That way I don't have to take the tree cutters out. I'm waiting till the drizzle to turn this in because I think it'll give me a cornerstone reroll. And then once this guy 
comes back in the trading post, I will... All right, let's see. I have two rerolls right now. Got a reputation. We are in the drizzle. I still have two rerolls. It lied to me. Uh, we could do this. Free oil. I really don't want any of these. Smithy's really good. Would give me coats. It's a reward for this order, but I doubt this order is going to happen. I guess I'll go with the monastery just in case, because I do need services either way. Just on the off chance that doesn't pan out. All right, let's get some more people in here. We'll get some lizard boys finally. Let's move this over a little bit. Well, we only need one lizard house right now because that's all all we have. It's one house worth. Probably pop a lizard in here. And how far away are you? 56 seconds. Okay, if you have oil and I can afford 20 of it, we might have this. If you don't, though, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. No oil. I guess I'm just out of luck. I still just don't have a lot of resources. I can't even sell anything. All right, let's tap into this glade. In case there's something I need to trade and buy to deal with the glade event. Okay, small destroyed caravan. I can loot it, which will lower resolve temporarily. But it'll give me plus two flower. Temporary resolve, I can live with that. All right, there's nothing else here. I feel like I need to um, clear this out and build a uh, warehouse over here. Just so that all this stuff can go to one spot. Can't I can't put anybody in there yet. Well, I suppose I could. I'll put the lizard in there. He won't be able to build this, but that's fine. Okay. I'm good with that pausing. I'd rather it pause and I don't need it. All right, there goes that cornerstone. Unfortunate, I didn't think there was a good chance of us getting it, though. All right, I think I'll take the amber. I actually don't have enough amber right now. All right, what else we got here? Chop into five glades. It's easy enough. This ain't happening. This can happen, but this doesn't benefit me. Uh, I'll just take this. It's the safer. It's a safer route. The question is, will this count as salvaging a rune? I think it might. All right, I'm going to move these guys over a little bit. I want to make sure. Yeah, I can put the warehouse anywhere over here. Where are you at? All right. Well, this actually wasn't too bad of a big glade. All right. Out of stone. Not anymore. Lizard boys are really happy. I don't know why. Speaking of which, I need to start getting down some of this stuff. We're going to be very careful about our placement. All right, we're coming up on the storm. I still haven't needed to actually pull my uh, lumberjacks out of um, out of the woodcutters camps yet. Like pe The resolve has been high enough to not have to do that. So at least that's good. I do have to come down here and start clearing this stuff out, though. I should probably do that now. I need room to build more production buildings. Okay, we can tap into these glades now without any fear. So let's go ahead and do that. Get more humans. I think we're going to need that for all the stuff we're doing. Uh, you know, protected trade is good to keep hostility down. And I do want this to be a low hostility game. Because at Hostility 7, we have uh, some real big problems. I think we'll get another small farm up and running here. Probably get a mine going here. We're eventually going to clear that out, so I'm not too worried about that being there. Speaking of clearing out, this is almost done. Uh, humans would be better in here. Put the humans in there. All right, we tapped into another small glade. Let's go back and look at that obelisk again. Um... Do we have any of this stuff yet? We do not. I would like to do that to decrease hostility. All right. Well, I guess it's good to have at least some coal incoming. Did I ever turn this off? I turned off automatically. Okay. So through the ancient, those lizard boys are really happy. All right. We could definitely sell some of these. We don't need that. We will need some, but I don't think we're going to need more than two. We could sell some coal. I'm not going to need that. Fungal guide would be... Uh, not that great, because I don't think we have any mushrooms on this map. At least not that I've seen yet. None of this is that great. I would like to get at least 20 of this, because then I could do I could do that obelisk thing. I don't want to sell any of this other stuff, so I guess we'll just get as much amber as we can. Really? One off, huh? It's going to be like that. All right. 
All right, let's go ahead and do this. Turn this in. Oh, I only needed 15. Ah, I would have had the money. Okay, well, let's get that done. Uh, I also want to do this. So let's go ahead and do that. Get the 10 amber. Would have been good to have that and be able to turn that in there. Uh, the question is, do I want another one? Lots of farmland in this map. All right, let's see what other production buildings we can get going. I'm definitely going to want flour and packs of provisions once that's up and running. Do we even have... Yeah, we have some fabric. We need more people now. That's the that's the biggest holdup at the moment. Okay, we got this. We can move it over here. Oh, just a second too soon on that, apparently. Harmony decorations. All right, well, let's start working towards this glade. We'll tap into it next season. Uh, you know, I could sell some of this stuff. Might as well start doing that, lowering that hostility via protected trade. All right, that did not count as runes rebuilt or salvaged. Don't really want to sell that. Got to be careful not to tap into this glade yet. Looks like we do have some meat coming out of the trees. At least there's that. Uh, is there any mushrooms that come out of the trees? Because that fungal guide might have been worth it then. I don't think so. All right, let's sell the insects. Sell that. Sell that. We're, we're getting all that stuff, so there's no reason not to. And then let's get more humans. We have more farmland. All right, we got to start getting some housing up and running. All right, that's lizard housing. I think we could sneak another human house on the corner here. They sneak one over here. I'm going to have to clear some of that out. I think that's it for housing. That's rough. Well, once this moves, be able to get a little more in there. All right, let's tap into this glade, and then we can go back and clear all this other stuff out. We do have a bonus. Wait, well, we have... We have an order that gives us a bonus to the amount of pickled goods we make. So once we can do that, that might be a decent option. Get some free skewers out of that. I, You know what? I have to build some fox housing, too. We have 13 foxes. I haven't built any fox housing. Maybe that'll be the next glade. All right, here we are. We got Fisherman's Cave. More fertile soil. And there's just a bunch of stuff. Okay, so this is a pain, but it's doable. All right, let's do that. Let's clear all this crap out. Then we're going to want to build a uh, warehouse over here. Yeah, there's fine. This is going to go up here. All right, small forager camp. You can move out of here now and start coming over here. Let's delete that little nub, and then let's get some box housing down. Uh, I might be able to sneak couple in there let's come over here and just trim this out tiny little bit all right totems are gonna keep popping up because of uh how this works and we're gonna have to take all those totems down Oop, didn't mean to do that uh fishman's totem yep let's go ahead and assign somebody to that all right we have amber now i will get planks for sure i don't need to make coal because i already have plenty of it this is nice for the ale. I'd love to get the stamping mill, too, if I can get there. And I think I can. I need 14. All right, that's worth it, uh, because that will give me ale. That will give me stamping mill. Oh, you know what? I didn't even think about I have to build that uh, that monastery within this circle. going to have to go here once I demolish these houses. But I can't do that... So I got another hearth built. So I guess that's going to have to go over here. Actually, you know what? I need to see if they he has any of this stuff. Scrolls, oil, resin, incense. Scrolls, incense. I don't need a lot, but they will let me complete this. And then I can move it and then build something here. All right, is somebody in here? Okay. Right, here we go selling again another fisherman's totem that's a lot of vegetables all right let's wor worry more about getting this trimmed out we cleared out all we needed over here let's get back over here okay that gives me enough space for two more houses miss that totem okay we have another here we go let's get that cook house up and running that can go here all right, this should be all taken care of at this point. 
Boxes resolve. I could turn in. Kind of feel like I should wait. I just want to see if I can get that that free cornerstone reroll. Maybe it doesn't apply if you have rerolls pending already. I'm not sure. Seems strange to me. All right, let's pick our last ones. We're likely to get this. That's not gonna happen. All right, protected trade is that? Okay, that has been helping us. Yeah, still low hostility. All right, let's get some people in here. Well, lizards like being in here. All right, well, we definitely can make biscuits. It's too bad this gives me skewers rather than uh, the pickled goods. Let's turn that off and just use that for pigment. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to need pigment. I'd rather use the resources we don't have a lot of for that. All right, we got to tap into another glade. This one's pretty close. Let's go ahead and move up here. We got to get uh, two more glades to complete this. I could just take this small glade and this danger glade. And I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. All right, let's go ahead. Now I should be able to turn this in and get a reroll. A lot of people. All right, let's sell this. Sell this. All right. Well, let me reroll this first if I want to reroll it. Yeah, I don't really see anything I like here. Not a huge fan of any of these either. Don't like any of those. I guess we'll uh, test this theory out. There we go. I did get a reroll. All right. I guess we'll take that. That's free amber. All right. We'll take the smithy. I think that's a good option. Let's start building up here. There we go. We already have a stamping mill. No, we don't. But I have the recipe for it. However, rebuilding this does complete my order. So, well, let's do this first. Yeah, we'll chase away again, get more reputation. And we'll pop a human in there. And we'll rebuild that. And that'll complete that. So we'll get that done. We'll get this done. Moving right along. Now, the other thing is... I can build a smithy now. And a scribe. Wait, I already built that up here. Silly me. Okay, smithy's built. Let's get the lizard boys in there. Definitely need these coats... I don't need packs of trade goods right now, I don't think. But let's get the coats going. We have the stamping mill we're getting over there. All right, I don't think there's anything else I'm interested in at the moment. Okay, can't move this, which is a little unfortunate. I actually don't need this for anything because I already have flour from provisioners here. But I am going to wait to turn that in till the next... Uh... Oh, wait, are we still in the drizzle? We are. All right, turn that in. That should have given me a bonus reroll. We'll see if it carries over to the next season. Okay, the pie is being fulfilled. I don't know about biscuits. Um, No, none of these are super great. I need pickled goods is what I need. It's a pie recipe. I do need it. I'm going to clear this out so I can build something here. I can move this now. Go ahead and move it over here. Lowers my hostility even more. These hostilities, it's only temporarily increasing because of this. It'll go back down again. All right, I'm still in the drizzle, so let's go ahead and turn this in. That's plus three pickled goods, assuming I find a way to make pickled goods. I could always resort to the field kitchen. It does make pickled goods. All right, so I will, at this point, I have pretty much unlimited amber to print. I really only need one amber. I don't know why I'm going so hard on that. Let's scale back. Okay. Let's trade. <laughs> Do that. All good. We can gather herbs, but we're making so many of, of it already. It's really not much of a point. What I really need to do is get another... Um, I need to clear a space over here to get another earth up and running. Yeah, I think right over here, I'm just going to have to chop all these trees out. But that's kind of the number one priority right now because I have to build more housing. I have to get the, uh, what you call it up and running. What, what would be really nice is getting that, uh, cornerstone that gives you more housing, uh, for every trade you make. There's nothing else I want to sell to her. I don't think. Do I want Amber? Uh, eh, let's sell like that much. Let's scale it back a little bit. All right. We can go a little, little up on there. And we'll just have that amber for later. Never know a future trader 
you know, something we might need it for. All right, now here, I don't want to make any of this, really. Just pickled goods and jerky, maybe. Hoping we get a better recipe down the road, but for the time being, this is what we got. All right, so we are running a little low on herbs. I think maybe I need to get another herb garden up and running here. Do I want it here or do I want it over here? All right, let's let's go up here and trim this out first so I can get that planted. Let's actually clear all this so they just focus on chopping the section out that I want them to chop out, chop out right now. That's well, unfortunate that actually progressed during not the uh, drizzle. But I should have had two two things happen during the drizzle. So hopefully the end result of that will be more cornerstone rerolls. I mean, hopefully I just get good cornerstones and I don't have to reroll it at all, but chances are pretty likely that's not going to happen. All right, now we can now we can just focus on chopping all this garbage out. Right over here is where I need to build the hearth. I don't really want any of that stuff. Let's keep trading. Get the trade routes flowing. That hostility's staying down from all the trades we're doing. All right, I can't do any of this until I get another uh, earth built. Yeah, like right here would be ideal because it wouldn't interfere with anything. I do have two ear rolls. Okay, that did work. Additional herbs, always good. I don't seem, to, well, I was going to say I don't seem to be low on food, but I, I'm getting a little scarcer. All right, let's get a small farm up and running here. Uh, definitely should have put people in here. I don't know why I didn't. Hey, that's a drizzle one. Gives us another bonus. I will sell that. All right, I just want herbs in this one. And for here, I just want vegetables. All right, what else do I want here? Um, none of this is great. I guess this gives us the option to produce more stuff. It's a better jerky recipe beanery is a good pickled goods recipe we get to choose between the two we'll go with the beanery I, I really need to get housing up and running that all comes down to these trees getting chopped i'm just gonna delete this stuff i don't even care about it all right we're down to just a little bit of impatience at this point i mean we're, we're still progressing even with all this uh homelessness we're certainly struggling to find meat and stuff. I think that's our big issue right now. Um, does it even matter? Do I want to buy anything? Probably not. All right, well, I don't think I can wait much longer for this to get done. This has to go down, like, now. You know, worry about chopping what I specifically need for the hearth. Let's focus on that for the time being. Right, let's sell you and sell a little bit of you. All right, this is still going fine. Looks like we're just held up over here. Right, right here would be the ideal spot. If you could just chop out those two, that would be great. There we go. Now we can worry about trimming the rest of the stuff out. I had to get it down first, though. All right, so we got that done. I kind of want to wait. Although I'm nervous about waiting because I think we're going to run out of supplies. Or does it not count down anymore? It only counts. So that's a change I've noticed is the resolve one is the same. It doesn't um, count down anymore. It used to like fluctuate depending on what you actually had in your inventory. But this looks like once you make it, it's you're set. All right, let's move the woodcutter over here. Keep on trimming trees. How, how does it say no, nothing nearby? We have trees right here. Maybe it was that other woodcutter. You're coming over here, though. I need this trimmed out. All right, we're drizzle. We could go ahead and turn this in. Uh, just a, eh. Yeah, we're producing. We're producing that, so it's fine. Right, let's turn that in. That gave us some stuff. Global food production increase. Some free oil. At this point, none of this matters. We'll just hold on to it in case we need it for something in particular. But let's focus on getting the buildings first. Oh, all right. What do I need? Let's see, it's 10, right? Because it's two each. Okay, so that should take care of that. And then aesthetics, I need 
three of these. And then housing. I need a whole bunch. Yeah, we're just going to demolish this stuff. All right, apparently, I can't destroy that. But I bet you I could spawn it and then destroy it. All right, we built two of those. And then we need lizard housing. And then once that's built, I can either trim this out. Yeah, I'll probably do that. You know what? I should also get um, a couple parks in here so that that can become a uh, tier two. Because that'll increase resolve by a little bit. All right, there's those two done. Let's go ahead and sell that stuff. Turn that in, turn that in. That was all during the drizzle. I don't need more people. I have too many as it is. Okay, we should be a level two neighborhood. We are. Everybody's good. Now we're just going to progress. I didn't even build the temple. Maybe I, sh maybe I should, just in case. Nah, I think we got it. All right, and there we go. We secured the victory. We got the uh, frost modifier done. Complete 400 trade routes. Very nice. All right. Well, that was uh, that was interesting. The smaller uh, hearth radius definitely made a difference. I, I was forced to build a second hearth if I wanted to progress. So not uh, not too shabby. So thank you for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, see more content in the future, and we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.